there's some pretty serious damage to your mouth that happens called sleep apnea teeth because there's really three big ways in which sleep apnea and also the treatment of it can cause a lot of damage. So the first one has to do with dry mouth because when you're using a CPAP or if you can't breathe through your nose, you're gonna breathe through your mouth, that's gonna dry it out and make this happen. That's not very fun. You have a lot of dryness in the gums and that's when a lot of mm, gunk will accumulate. So that's where being able to have good nasal breathing, using mouth tape, talk to your doctor, blah, 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 all that. Number two has to do with teeth grinding because a lot of times people have TMJ issues, lead to teeth grinding, very high correlation with sleep apnea. So make sure you're doing things for TMJ, whether it's like physical therapy-ish type things for that or talking to your dentist about something. Number three is the, it's malocclusion. Let me just show you. So malocclusion is when your teeth grow in every single which way besides the correct way. So it could be, you know, overbite, underbite, uh, overjet, all these different things. A lot of this also happens from using mouth guards. And by mouth guards, I mean the mouthpieces that you get there. So make sure you're using those appropriately. It would be great to not have to deal with all that and get your breathing right. If you want a step-by-step -step plan to have good breathing at night for better teeth and all that, go click here. This button, I'm pretty sure here it's the whole time. Might be down here, but usually it's up here or go to this website.